Okay, the first service that we need to uh, worry about is MySQL. So you can see up here on the screen, I've got the Docker Compose file for that. And we can see on line three, that's where the service is defined. It's coming from the image MySQL with the tag of 5.7. And then we are setting up two environment properties. So we need to replicate this in a Kubernetes context. So what I'm gonna do is come over to the command line and we are going to issue the command cube control, create deployment. We're going to call this MySQL as the service name. And we'll say image. Again, we're going to be doing the image of 5.7, uh, MySQL 5.7. We want to say dry run. And this is just going to tell it to dry run it, uh, not actually create it. And we want the output to be YAML. So minus O for output, YAML, and then we are going to pipe it to a file. So this, if you're on Windows, I don't know if this will work for you. It's been quite, I'm quite rusty with Windows command line, but in a any Bash environment or uh, Unix type environment uh, should be just fine. And we are going to say MySQL. I'm going to say MySQL deployment. I'm going to use the shorthand of, of YAML. So this will create the file for us. You can see there's the file. And what we need to do is we need to edit that. I'm going to toggle over to IntelliJ to do the editing there. I could use VI, but for editing YAML, IntelliJ is a little bit nicer for that. So if I come in here, if we take a look at the scripts, there's the MySQL deployment. You can see that it is highlighted in red. I will be adding that to the GitHub repository for your reference. So we're going to see me create all these in this. And here is the file, the specification that was uh, created for the deployment in a Kubernetes context. Yeah, you can see under spec containers, image, 5.7 resources. Now what I want to do is say env for environment. And this is going to take a map of properties of name value pair. So we want to say name. value i'm coming up with the ever so creative db password then also we need to initialize the database so we'll say name and it's just going to be beer service and all the the microservices are configured to use the same same database we could uh, create multiple schemas if we wanted to but again just for pragmatic state we're not over complicating things here uh, so we can see MySQL root password, MySQL database is being set in the environment properties. And if we come back over here to the compose file, you can see uh, we have a slightly different syntax, but MySQL root password uh, is equivalent to this. And then uh, this MySQL database, that is the equivalent to that there. So let's come back over to the command line now and we'll apply that. So we can say apply minus F. And we can see the MySQL deployment. And that is created. Clear the screen here. And then we want to create a service for this as well to expose the database as a service. Create service. We're going to give it a cluster IP. So this is going to be exposed. It's going to be for MySQL. And we want to say TCP, so we're going to expose a port. And this is the default port. This is where the communications to the MySQL database is going to occur over this port. Say drive run. Minus O equals YAML. And here we are going to uh, pipe it to another file. And we will say MySQL, YML, like so. Uh, I got a mistake here. You can see that I mistyped here, so it should be equal client. Try that. And that applied. And now we can do an ls. And we can see I've got two YAML files here. Some people prefer to put everything into a single uh, YAML file, so you can do uh, a three dash separator to, between chunks of YAML to combine them into one. For the purposes of this course, I'm going to do separate files just for. I think it's going to be a little bit easier for people working through the course. And I'm going to follow the convention of 
service dash deployment service dash service. So now we need to go ahead and apply the service. And we see uh, cube control apply minus F service. That is created. And we can see. And now uh, doing a cube control get all. We can see that I have uh, Kubernetes is running. And we can see that the MySQL service is up and running. And then uh, we can see this here. Oh, I'm sorry, the, the pod. Here, here's the pod. And that is the deployment. And here's the service. So uh, we are up and running properly. So everything looks good here. And I'm going to clear that. And in the next video, we will tackle taking care of the JMS service.